And then getting into the Internet of Things, or, uh, I showed you the smart devices already. Um, this is really uh, getting into the physical world. And these physical concepts in Archimed are really tightly integrated with the technology layer we already have. You could even say they're just part of the technology layer. So we added a number of concepts uh, that model physical stuff, equipment, uh, well, the term already says what it is, uh, all kinds of uh, machinery, uh, but even a shovel can be equipment, or if you're a, a farmer, your horse can be equipment if it pulls your plow. Material, the massive part of uh, the, the physical concepts, it's, well, any kind of material you can, you can model that way. Of course, you, you might need to, to have more detailed descriptions, then you can use this customization mechanism again that I used to define the metric concept. You could define specific kinds of material which that's using in all kinds of production processes. And then we have, of course, the uh, behavior part, but we reuse the behavior of the, uh, the existing technology layer. And this helps you to combine these different uh, systems, your physical and IT systems, into one sing single thing. It can be part of one node that has both kinds of technology, and we'll have an example of that later on. Um, getting back to Arc Assurance, here we see the upper layer of what they want to do. So they want to uh, acquire all kinds of data, use that in uh, an analysis process in their application uh, world, and then create customer profiles from that and use that to, uh, to feed into the insurance premium calculation and use that as well at an aggregated level to develop new kinds of insurance products. If we then move into the physical world where this data acquisition takes place, uh, they have defined a data acquisition gateway that links to all kinds of smart devices. All these, these IoT devices are uh, uh, feed their data into that gateway, so they generate the data uh, from these, these devices, from the equipment, and then this is acquired by uh, this acquisition gateway. And here we have just some examples of these uh, devices, black boxes in cars, fitness trackers, your home alarm system or your smart thermostat. Uh, the latter two are in this case part of a larger facility, in this case your smart home. And this smart thermostat is also connected to another new concept, the distribution network. In Archimate, we could only model distribution of uh, or, or uh, uh, networks that were used for communication, so data. But we can now also model distribution of uh, physical materials or of energy. So this is an energy network modeled as a distribution network. Then if we go even deeper into that, we can also look at these Internet of Things uh, devices uh, uh, and how they connect to Arc Assurance's uh, own architecture. And then we get into the microservices architecture that's behind that. So Arc Assurance has this data acquisition gateway where for each service, that, uh, for each uh, device it connects to, uh, there's a, a data acquisition function running inside a container. Uh, then there's a REST API offering different services where these devices can, for example, register themselves and then uh, feed in data. And of course, this runs on a platform as a service solution. It's, uh, it's not modeled in detail here, but that's the typical kind of architecture you see nowadays. And this is just a very high-level picture just for, for explanatory purposes. If you want to model a, an architecture like this, you will get into more detail probably. Uh, but this is just to, to show you how this would be connected. So that's the Internet of Things example. 